Hey guys, I'm Mash Slick from Follow the Coin. Welcome to this week's Dogecoin Roundup. This week, the Dogecoin community raised 68.7 million Dogecoins to sponsor NASCAR driver Josh Wise. This is about $55,000 for those of you still using the old currency. Josh will be racing a Dogecoin branded race car at Talladega on May 4th. Now this probably took a tremendous amount of time to raise this amount of money. Wrong. The Dogecoin community was able to raise this $55,000 in only eight days. And a quarter of that money was donated by Moolah, an up and coming cryptocurrency product suite. Good job, Moolah. The Dogecoin community created their own press release and then told everybody on the internet that cared about Dogecoin to go tell their local newspapers and publications about it. So pretty much everybody covered this story. CNN, Fox, The Guardian, Yahoo, Forbes, Everybody loves writing about Dogecoin. Woo! Now, the Dogecoin community has been incredibly good at doing fundraisers for things like sending teams to the Olympics, sponsoring the NASCAR driver, getting clean water to people that need it. But what they haven't done a great job with is getting more merchants to accept Dogecoin. Now, charities and fundraisers are amazing. We've donated to every one of them. But this week, Reddit user the Hot Coco called upon the community to get more merchants using Dogecoin and to get more people selling things for Dogecoin. Because what happens is as a currency, in order to stabilize, you can't just be doing fundraisers. You have to have an economy where people are selling something and then buying it for Dogecoins. If you know about any merchants that are accepting Dogecoin that we should be talking about, leave a comment and let us know. The third thing that happened this week is Forbes, formally and very kindly, requested that the Dogecoin community stop bombarding them with emails. Now don't get me wrong, Forbes says that they love Dogecoin, but when they're getting 50, 100 emails a day about it, they're just gonna get annoyed. Forbes says send them one email don't bombard them, realize that they have a ton of other things they need to be writing about, and that they will continue to support the community. That's it for this week, guys. Be sure to leave a comment, like this video if you want us to be making more videos about Dogecoin, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and if you also happen to like Bitcoin, although it's not as exciting as Dogecoin, be sure to check out our Bitcoin Roundup, done by Tina. Bye, guys!